Good morning. It is 6.54 a.m. on Friday. Oh, it's Friday the 13th of November 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So, um, yeah, Friday the 13th. I'm distracted by that now. I didn't realize before just now. Um, not that I seriously believe in that. I just think it's fun to think about. Um, my shoulders messed up again in exactly the same way, which suggests to me that I need to keep an eye on my ergonomics of various things. Like, I'm not sure what it is that I've been doing, but I've clearly been doing something to kind of exacerbate my left shoulder. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I guess these things happen, especially uh, as you get older. Um, Mike and I have decided to add a couple of movies to our, <laughs> so, uh, if you don't follow watching 100 movies in this last episode, we planned our next two movies for this, this next coming episode. And we were talking about heist movies and we decided on inside man and out of sight. But, um, I think both of us felt you know, we're, we're feeling a little bit afterwards, like, you know, we went with movies we really like, but also I think we both maybe steered away from more obvious choices and we're regretting that a little bit. And so we're still watching inside man and out of sight, but now we're also going to watch point break and hang on. rocket rocket. Uh-huh. Sorry, I just replaced the toilet paper roll and he decided he was interested in it, apparently. Little dog. So I'll probably go in there and find out that the first couple of layers are chewed up. I could hear him in the other room causing mischief. Um, and then I laughed just because when he came around the corner, he had a tiny piece stuck to his foot. Uh-uh, Rocket, come. Come. Good boy. Um, oh, right. So we're also going to watch Point Break and Ocean's Eleven. Um, and in particular, if we're talking the heist movie genre and all of those tropes, um, obviously Ocean's Eleven is almost kind of like, it, it's, it's the cliche of the heist movie, but, uh, you know, it has so much fun. It's, it's just joyful to behold. And then Point Break is Point Break, right? Um, it's just got that, uh, you know, the, the character dynamics and uh, um, fun stylized action. And there's a, there's a point where someone, there's a foot chase and some, one guy throws a dog at another guy. Rocket, <laughs> um, what, what, what is it? Why are you anxious this morning? Oh, I, you know what? I mean, he's probably just anxious because he mm, decided he wanted to chew on the toilet paper and I told him no. And so now he doesn't know what to do with himself. Mm-hmm. Ouch. I feel like I'm turning slow because of my shoulder. Oh, you know, here's the other thing that I've, the other change that I've made of late. And I can't, I can't think why this would have had any impact, impact on my shoulder, but certainly the timing is, would make it suspect if only for that reason. But I recognized that I was eating too much sugar. I definitely have a sweet tooth. I crave sugary stuff. And uh, like in particular, buying just like snacking candy. And then also there's this um, brand of popsicles that I was having as like a bedtime dessert. Um, but the part of the problem is it, it's not that having those things every so often is a problem. The problem is that I was over time showing a poor ability to regulate how much I was having. Like the problem with those popsicles is they weren't 
satisfying. Like, I would enjoy it, but then I would finish it and just want another one. Instead of saying, ah, popsicle, I'm so glad I ate that popsicle, now for bed. It was more like, mmm, that popsicle was good, now I want another popsicle. And then I would eat more than one, frequently lots. And uh, over time, that's a lot of sugar, it's not good for me, right? And so, and I had seen my, some of my slow uh, weight loss trending going back in the other direction. And it's like, okay, so... I've cut extremely back on sugar and I mean I know that it's good but I'm still certainly in a position right now where I still want it though <laughs> yeah so I haven't uh, you know I, I, I have not gone back to just having all the sugar I want but I'm certainly not yet at the point where that's not what I want because I definitely do but anyway, that's where I'm at today, so I hope all of you are planning for a good weekend, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.